welcome dear students in this lecture we are going to talk about the lewis structures as well as the resonance structures of the carbon dioxide dear students the formula of carbon dioxide is co2 which means it has one carbon and two oxygen atoms now the carbon it belongs to group 4a so it has four valence electrons and oxygen belongs to group 6a it will be written in numer uh, roman numerals like this so it will be having six valence electrons now what should be the total number of valence electrons in carbon dioxide uh, carbon has four valence electrons plus one oxygen has six valence electrons but there are total two oxygen atoms so four plus 12 that will be the 16 valence electrons now we need to distribute these 16 valence electrons to the atoms of the co2 for that carbon is the central atom oxygen are the peripheral or terminal atoms and they are bonded to each other so first of all we will consider a single bond between carbon and oxygen now dear students we will complete octet of the oxygen atom it has two electrons in the form of one bond pair so in order to complete its octet it must have three lone pair of electrons in the same way this oxygen has one bond pair of electrons and it should have three lone pair of electrons so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 octet of this oxygen and similarly octet of this oxygen both are completed now my dear students let us see the octet of the carbon carbon has 1 2 3 4 it has only four electrons in the form of the two bond pairs so it means the octet of carbon is incomplete as there are only four valence electrons in the uh, valence cell of the carbon according to this uh, Lewis structure. So what happens in order to complete the octet of the carbon this oxygen shares its lone pair and this oxygen also shares its lone pair of the electron with the carbon and hence the resulting structure will be C double bond O and double bond O and both oxygen they will be having now two lone pair of electrons and both are having two bond pair of electrons and hence 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 octet of this oxygen is complete and in the same way this oxygen also has two bond pair of electrons and two lone pairs so its octet is also completed. And in the similar manner, carbon has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It has 8 electrons in the form of the uh, 4 bond pair of the electrons. So, octet of all these atoms is completed. Now, the question is, is this the actual structure of the CO2? Dear students, the carbon double bond oxygen bond length, normally it is 121 picometer. But when we calculate the bond length of the carbon oxygen bonds in CO2, uh, in CO2, the bond length is 115 picometer. It means the carbon double bond oxygen has bond length 121, but in actual in CO2, the bond length is 115 picometer. So this single structure is not enough to explain this bond length as in this structure carbon and oxygen they have double bonds between them and their bond length should be 121 picometer but in actual the co2 has 115 picometer of the bond length so actual bond length is not matching with the bond length of this structure it means we need some more structures to uh, approach the actual structure of the co2 now that process in which some more Lewis structures are proposed that is called as the resonance my dear students uh, there is a chance that this oxygen shares its lone pair with carbon and the double bond is changed to triple bond 
एंड कार्बन शिफ्ट पाए बॉन्ड टू दिस अदर ऑक्सीजन बिकॉज कार्बन कैन फॉर्म ओनली फोर बॉन्ड्स वट विल हैपन As one bond is shifted to this oxygen, so there will be only single bond here then, and the two lone pairs were already present. One electron pair is again shifted, so this oxygen will be having three lone pair of electrons with a single bond, and that oxygen which forms less than two bonds it carries usually negative charge. And now. As one lone pair of electron is shared here, so the double bond will be changed to triple bond, and because this oxygen has already shared its one lone pair, so now it will be having only one lone pair of electron, and it will be carrying the positive charge. The oxygen which forms more than two bonds, it carries positive charge, and the oxygen which forms less than two bonds, it carries the negative charge. This one is the formal charge of oxygen atom. and this one positive one is the formal charge of the other oxygen atom but overall the molecule of co2 will remain uh, neutral in the same way it can also happen that this oxygen atom shares its lone pair of electron here and the bond pair is shifted to this oxygen atom if this happens then carbon there should be triple bond here with oxygen and there will be only one lone pair of electron on that oxygen in that case and here it will be single bond with because the lone pair is shifted to this oxygen so there will be three lone pairs with the negative charge so all these three structures structure number 1 2 and 3 all these three structures are called as the resonance structures of the co2 in which the number of atoms are same the total number of electrons are also same but the shifting of the lone pair and bond pair takes place the position of atoms is also same and due to the shifting of the lone pair and bond pair of the electrons the bonding arrangement and that is changed these are the resonance structures now my dear students out of these resonance structures this structure 2 is considered as uh, nearest to actual that's why whenever you will see the structure of co2 in books or you will be drawing the structure of the co2 in exams you mostly draw this structure in the uh, linear shape of the co2 and the bond angle that is 180 but uh, the carbon triple bond bond length that is 110 picometer now my dear students the carbon double bond oxygen bond length is 121 picometer the carbon triple bond oxygen bond length is 110 picometer it means the actual bond length of the co2 that does not match with the double bond or triple bond bond length so the actual bond length that will uh, be matching with the resonance hybrid of the co2 and in case of resonance hybrid two solids line and one dotted line is placed between carbon and oxygen atoms which shows that the bond order is not 2 neither 3 rather it is 2.5 it is something in between the 2 and 3 it is something in between the double and triple bond so in that case the bond length should also be in between the bond length of the double bond and bond length of the triple bond and that should be 115 picometer now this structure to explain the bond length actual bond length of the carbon oxygen bonds in co2 that is called as the resonance hybrid structure and this structure is proposed to justify the 115 picometer bond length of the co2 which is neither uh, bond length of the double bond or the bond length of the triple bond so these are three lewis structures these are three resonance structures and you know that resonance structures they do not have actual existence they are not present at dynamic equilibrium state and it is not like the molecule of the co2 will exist in the form of structure 1 for some fraction of time then it will be changed to structure 2 and then it will be changed to structure 3 and these different structures are seen in different fractions of the time that is not actual picture rather 
you say that the resonance structures they do not have actual existence but keep in mind that the resonance hybrid structure is always present at lower energy state as compared to its resonance structure so the resonance hybrid structure is considered as the most stable structure of that compound so that was all about the structure of the co2